Hi, I'm Ted O'Farrell and today I want to talk about the rest stroke. The rest stroke is one of the beginning strokes for the classical guitar student and it needs to be mastered. An easy four step process to do this is to understand the planting of the finger and then the stroke that the finger uses and resting the finger against the adjacent string and then the exchange from an alternating finger. So you have four steps. You have the plant, the stroke, the rest, and the exchange. Now the right hand is uh, labeled as P-I-M-A. P for thumb, I for the index, M for middle, and A for your ring finger. And you'll find that notation in and throughout a lot of classical guitar literature. So how do we play the rest stroke? Well, we can take our right hand and we can place our thumb on the sixth string and then our index finger we will place and plant on the first string. So we plant our first finger on the first string. And then we get ready to strike that string. So we play that and then our finger will rest against the second string B. Then the fourth step our middle finger will come up, that's the exchange, and plant on the first string, preparing to strike it. It strikes the string and rests on the adjacent second string. And then our index finger comes up, that's the exchange, and plants again on the first string. That motion sometimes is referred to as walking or a scissors exchange. And it happens very quickly on the classical guitar. Um, and it's something that needs to be mastered. So it happens very quickly. Now the advantages of using the rest stroke, it gives volume uh, to pieces uh, or scale passages. It also uh, helps you accent certain notes and if you're playing complex passages and so on. So my advice is to take your best friend, your metronome, and say after me, the metronome is my best friend, metronome is my best friend, and uh, take it and turn it down to a slow speed, like 40 beats per minute, and allow that to click, and then practice your rest stroke using I and M, watch the exchange, and then once you've mastered that, try M and A, Try I and A. And after you've played on the first string, try doing the rest stroke on the other strings, strings two and three and four. And it's a good warm up exercise as well as developing strength and independence in your right hand fingers. Well, that's an introduction to the rest stroke. Until next time. I'm Ted O'Farrell.